So here we are. At, these are three of us. So I'll actually ask Bernice and you to introduce themselves, um, and then I'll go ahead. I'm Berenice, uh, I'm postdoc in, in Germany, um, and I'm happy to be there and to have you in this program. Yo. Hey everyone, uh, so I'm Yo Yehudi, uh, I am a software engineer in Cambridge, uh, and I am really, really excited to be working with you all um, for the next few months. Hey, so I am Malvi Kasharan, I'm a community manager this until this week in Germany, but I'm moving to London next week. Um, and I'm also super excited to work on this. So again, three of us have worked for several months with really, really generous people in our mentor and expert group. And we're very excited that we are finally in a stage where we can welcome you into the program. Um, the idea that connected us was that we believe that to be effective, science should be shared openly with others and made freely available. And you are here with us and you're here because in some ways you also believe in the same idea. The Open Life Science Program helps early stage researchers and potential academic leaders in becoming open science ambassadors. Um, and I assume that you all had read something about it before you applied for the program. And we're happy that you are willing to become that ambassador in your community. So it's, it's something that we know for decades, from probably from the beginning of science, that it can advance only when we share our work with others because other people can build on what you have done and you can work on someone else's work. But often we hear that researchers are skeptical to be open about their work. They don't wanna share it because they have fear of getting scooped, being openly criticized, um, or, or other people can spot mistakes in their own work. So how can we work openly without becoming scientifically vulnerable? It's a really complex question. Uh, it, the vulnerability is quite different for different people. And what we are trying to do is in this program, we want to explore what are the important concepts and practices in open science that we can apply in our work one step at a time without overwhelming others. So Open Life Science is a 15 week long personal mentorship and cohort based training. Uh, you would have cohort based calls like this one every second week and in between you will have one on one mentoring call with your mentor. And when you're not talking to either of us, you're gonna have some hands-on practices. We'll provide you with assignments. And after you have gone through assignment, you would be introduced to an idea and concept which you would be able to apply directly in your project. So we will be using Mozilla Open Leadership Framework, which you can access online openly uh, to fuel our open life science journey. So this, but the whole idea of open leadership is that open leader design, build and empower their projects and communities for understanding, sharing and participation and inclusion. Um, so our open science definition goes beyond just sharing data, but it's also about bringing people in so you can do science together. The open leadership framework depends on design, build and empower principle in terms of understanding, sharing and participation. For example, are we designing our content for someone else's understanding? Are we building it for people to share in their network? Are we, are we empowering people for their participation and inclusion in our community? Can we inspire their contribution? How can we help people to take care of themselves? How can we build resilience? So our science is not just about what we produce, but people who are doing it. So often we get asked, so what do we know about, what we think about open science, because everyone's open science is quite different. Open science mean, mean quite different things to different people. So it could mean that you want to share your data openly, or you wanna share your code openly. You wanna design hardwares or you wanna share your paper protocols. You wanna also start sharing your results from early on before even it goes into printing. Um, and then we also have huge focus on uh, knowledge sharing and training and collaborating with people openly like citizen science that a lot of you are interested in, but also connecting others in our field and supporting them in scientific networks. 
So what we want to focus on from the beginning is the design thinking. How can we make our project open by design? A 2012 studies showed that tech companies um, that have level of strategic intent to openness and not just openness alone. So here the intention is important. It correlates with the market performance. So design openness into your work. Don't let it be a thoughtless default. So with that, we believe that you're already leaders in your own community and you will come with a vision. And if you're gonna combine it with what we are trying to provide through our open life science program, you can definitely achieve positive culture change in your community.